the National Assembly has a power of investigation for the purpose of exposing corruption. So the policy of the federal government on whistleblowing is tailored towards meeting the objectives of the Constitution in terms of fighting corruption. Now, the people who come out to blow whistle for wrongdoing, they do not necessarily do it for pecuniary benefits. They do it for patriotic reasons. They do it because they believe that what belongs to all is being taken by one person or a few. And so it is important that when people, citizens, take bold steps for patriotic reasons, that the state should be able to protect them. Now, it has been said, and the, the data is out there, that there has been phenomenal rise in reporting of uh, activities that are of criminal nature, you know, regarding financial embezzlement and issues of that nature. Now, so a, a new government may shift that policy, but when you have a statute that actually recognizes whistleblowing as an issue and it is entrenched in the law, it means that you have to go back to the National Assembly to amend it. And for you to be able to do so, you need to explain to the Nigerian people why you have to do that. So it is important for us to protect those people who are patriotic enough to come out. And the best way to do that, we all agreed on that, that the best way to do that is actually by means of a legislation. So the focus shifts to the National Assembly to pass this bill.